bit of a spontaneous video today because we just uh, won something on eBay. Um, we're picking up two. Two. Um, Come on, you can do it. Two. Mid. Midnight. 90s. 90s road bike. Nice one. 90s road bikes. 90s road bikes, yeah. We've already, actually, I've already got one in the back, whoop, back in the boot, and um, whilst we were shopping in Asda just now, uh, I got a notification saying I've won another bike that I actually forgot an I bid on. I'll try and put a screenshot up now. Yeah, so uh, that was 16 quid, which is a crazy price. So all the bits from that, which is slightly better than what's in the boot right now, which I'll show everyone in a minute. Um, I'm going to use the bits on the bike I just paid 16 quid for on the bike that's in the boot. Basically, hopefully that makes sense. So let's get it picked up. There we go. Just picked this one up. It's a Peugeot uh, Richard Van Riek edition. I used to have a Richard Van Riek probably pronouncing that wrong saddle in the uh, blue so I'm guessing this uh, Tour de France rider his colors were blue but yeah really nice guy uh, he was hoping to get a bit more for it so I felt a bit bad about it but yeah good for me anyway oh 105 headset that's good uh, Tigra rear mech it's a bit more modern than I was hoping for but I am not complaining because all of these bits, or some of them, or most of them, including the, uh, are these called grifters or STIs or something like that, these are going to go on to the other bike that I picked up that is buried. Uh, oh, there we go, you can just about see what it is. On to the M tracks, which is a 60, 60 centimeter frame. There's my size being lanky. Anyway, let's, uh, I'm going to get them home, get them out, and then have a proper look at them. So, we were just getting the bikes out, uh, and the heavens decided to open, so from the boot of the car, there we go. We were going to do a little update on, um, well, just see what we've got basically. So that's the um, 60 centimetre M tracks frame. Frame. It's got Reynolds uh, low end Reynolds tube in. Pretty sure it's 501. Uh, it's filthy because the guy, amongst things like using it for a triathlon, the seller. He um, used it as his daily commuter, uh, so it's, yeah, it's got all the evidence of that. I just while it's raining, can't I can't get on with um, down tube shifters, even ones that are indexed. Um, the wheels don't really suit the bike very well. Uh, uh, yeah, other than that, it'll probably stay the same. So I bought this, thinking. Yeah, so I think it's um, really early 2000s, maybe very late 90s. But I bought this thinking I'll just whack all the parts from that to that. Like the mechs, the wheels, these integrated shifters. That's, that's the main thing I wanted. Um, but um, yeah, the rear mech is Tiagra, uh, modern. And that one's modern Sora. I'll probably just put the Tiger one on. Uh, it's got some sort of Holotech uh, chain set. I might stick that on rather than that not great one that's on there. I think that's low end Shimano, judged by the chrome dust cap. But it's probably covering a nut. But yeah, the wheels are no good because they're odd and they're modern. But if. Um, Anyone remembers the other M tracks tra M tracks road bike I had? Dad. Yeah. I need a wheel. Oh, okay. Then. See that in a minute. Yeah, it stopped raining now. Um, yeah, the other M tracks that had the stuck uh, drop out adjusters. Yeah. 
um, I'm going to use the wheels from that one on this. The shifters from this on that as well. And change that from that. And yeah, just going to basically be a one decent commuter bike that fits me out of this and two other bikes. I should, with the money I've paid for all of them, I could have just bought one decent bike, but it's not very good fun. I can't say that too loud because my wife is listening. <laughs> so I thought I'd take the old Richard Richard Van Reek edition. Am I saying that right? Down the shop to uh, see what's what with it. Oh shit! Okay, the back brake does nothing, so I need to stop filming and use the the other brakes. I'm on a hill. I'll pick this back up in a minute. Yeah, I made it. That was a bit sketchy. The uh, back brake wasn't hooked up. So yeah, I, had to, uh, I needed my uh, filming hand to be a braking hand. But yeah, it's, um, it's a pile of crap really. It's a pretty much an S-shaped rear wheel. Uh, one good thing I can say, it's got continental tyres. They'll be useful. Much to my dismay, the um, shifters do not match. One's Campag. And uh, the other Shimano, so not even that is useful. Uh, seat post is a nice, a nice shape I noticed. Probably a name for that. Aerodynamic, something like that. But yeah, I have to remember it was 16 quid. Can't complain too much. There we go. I'm going uphill now, so I don't need a brake. But I think I was a bit unfair about this bike. Uh, basically, you could jump on it commute it to work or whatever you want to do with it no real issue if you hook that back brake up that is stops it goes changes gear it's pretty fast it's quite a lightweight bike it's got a uh, what's it got well, I think it's a one oh no it's the other bike that's got 105 wheel but they're both um, they're mismatched but they're Shimano wheels yeah it's, it's a decent for what it is, it's a decent bike and uh, it makes a great little hack to get you to work but that's not what it's going to be for me because it's too small and it's going to get hacked up so <coughs> there they all are uh, the plan is then take um, most of the RSX bits off of this chain set, mech, definitely the wheels and the shifters from this, <coughs> possibly the brakes. Nope, I'll have the RSS bra RSX brakes off that one. So yeah, just the shifters off this one, I think. Um, maybe the mech, I don't know. This one's RSX, but not very tidy. Still rust. Um, yeah, I know that one of the um, slightly more um, bling seat posts. Hopefully, one will fit and uh, put it all on this one yeah so we're gonna make uh, one good bike out of three scruffy bikes yeah that's it for now oh yeah i forgot the, the interesting bit the pricing so this one <coughs> that was 30 30 quid on ebay i think that's the one that i've done a video on previously that these um the rear dropout just is stuck peugeot that was in this video, that's 16 quid. And the M Trax, it's another one on eBay. Can't actually remember how much that was now. I think it was around about 20 quid, probably. Yeah, I would have thought so, about 20 quid. Yeah, that's them.